Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen Walbrook. Please have a seat. That great citizen of the world, Desmond Tutu, who died last St. Stephen's Day, wisely emphasized that instead of separation and division, all distinctions make for a rich diversity to be celebrated for the sake of the unity that underlies them. We are different so that we can know our need of one another. We are all different, all unique. Difference is a gift, a lesson that the world still struggles to learn. We are a unity with our Ukrainian sisters and brothers, and they are in need of us now. It's tragically bewildering that four weeks ago most of us could never imagine that there would now be a war waging in Europe, a war that involves the shelling and bombing of maternity hospitals, convoys of refugees, theatres where messages on the ground visible to aircraft indicated that children had taken refuge there. They were still bombed. It's tragically bewildering how the lessons of history are so often not learned and how a leader of a country that probably lost 60 million citizens during the purges of Stalin and the Second World War chooses to send his people to war again. At the same time, we are astonished by the courage, the spirit, and the mutual support of the Ukrainian people. Many thanks indeed to all of you for gathering in the city this evening. I'm very grateful indeed to Shane and all at Luxoft. This evening is Shane's idea. Luxoft, a global technology company, has many employees in Ukraine whose special skills particularly benefit the firm. Many in the London office and elsewhere have been vigorously trying to support their colleagues in the Ukraine and facilitate evacuation to safety wherever possible. Please use the music and the readings this evening as opportunities to reflect on how blessed we all are, reflect on the value of peace, reflect on how the Ukrainian people are suffering, and reflect on what we can do in response. The words of Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. You hate those who pay regard to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will exult and rejoice in your steadfast love because you have seen my affliction. You have taken heed of my adversities and have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. Oh, how abundant is your goodness that you have laid up for those who fear you and accomplished for those who take refuge in you in the sight of everyone. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from human plots. You hold them safe under your shelter from contentious tongues. 
Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was beset as a city under siege. I had said in my alarm, I am driven far from your sight, but you heard my supplications when I cried out to you for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, come, Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more.
Good evening, everyone. First, I want to say thank you to the St. Stephen Woolbrook Church priest, Stephen Baxter, for hold, holding this concert um, on aid of the British Red Cross appeal for Ukraine. And I have to say thank you to all of you um, for showing a lot of kindness in your hearts by being here and also to um, try to help in your own way to these people in Ukraine. And hopefully we will see the end soon of the suffering uh, of so many people. Um, the British Red Cross is always everywhere uh, trying to alleviate the suffering of so many people around the world. And this time is Ukrainian. Next time, we don't know who is in need. But thank you so much for coming tonight and to show you kindness. Everything raised tonight will be to help everybody um, in Ukraine. Thank you. Lord, have mercy on us. If you are for us, who can be against us? Christ, have mercy on us, especially if our hours are numbered. Lord, have mercy on us, especially in the days of war. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Holy, 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 the Lord God of might. In other words, God of the heavenly hosts, or of the heavenly lights. You went out with us to war. You seized the foe by the throat. You filled earth and heaven with your glory, like a jug with wine. You let the earth turn upside down. Hosanna in the highest. We'll see you around in the next world. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord in a glorious and frightening time, a time of troubles, a time of war. Blessed are those who walk row by row. Each one shall be a hero, salvos three, and into the ground they go. And once again, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna on high. 
The further into battle, the fewer the heroes left behind. Lamb of God, who has freed all people from deadly snares. Lamb of God, who has borne the immeasurable weight of our sins. Lamb of God, who has counted and pardoned every fall. Lamb of God, have mercy on us all. Lamb of God, Son of the Father, light from true light. Lamb of God, Saviour of constellations, planets and stars in the sky. Lamb of God, who crown your iconostasis. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, little lamb lain on the altar. A time of war has come. Cinders rises from the earth. Grant us peace. We are sated with eternal fire. They say, we're starting a war again. Donna nobis parchem. Amen.
Resistance by Simon Armitage, Poet Laureate. Resistance, it's war again. A family carries its family out of a pranged house under a burning thatch. The next scene smacks of archive newsreel. Platforms and trains, never again, never again. Toddlers passed over heads and shoulders. Lifetimes stowed in luggage racks. It's war again, unmistakable smoke on the near horizon, mistaken for thick fog. Fingers crossed. An old blue tractor tows an armoured tank into no man's land. It's the ceasefire hour. Godspeed the columns of winter coats and fur-lined hoods. The high wire walk over buckled bridges, managing cases and bags, balancing west and east. Godspeed, it's war again. The woman in black gives sunflower seeds to the soldier, insists his marrow will nourish the national flower. In dreams, let bullets be birds. Let cluster bombs burst into flocks. False news is news with the pity edited out. It's war again. An air raid siren can't fully mute the cathedral bells. Let's call that hope.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, creator of all that is good, whose Son is the Prince of Peace, we hold before you your people of Ukraine. We urgently pray that they will know a just, lasting peace throughout their country, that conflict and hostilities will cease, that they will be given resources to help them heal and recover. Lord, have mercy. pray for all who mourn, for all who are injured or sick, for those looking after the injured, for all living in fear, for all living in appalling conditions with inadequate water or food or heat or sanitation, for all those separated from loved ones. Bring relief, bring release from pain, bring light. Christ, have mercy. pray for the leaders of the peoples of Ukraine and Russia. Turn the hearts of those who pursue aggression to your ways of gentleness and righteousness. Prosper the work of those seeking peace through dialogue. Give wisdom to all leaders of the nations of the world. Guide their decisions. May they be instruments of your peace and be committed to supporting all those seeking a home. Lord, have mercy. Pray for all members of Luxoft that they will find safety. Bless all of us in our response to this crisis. May we be the hands, the eyes, the feet of your Son by our generous use of our resources in your service, Father for your beloved sons and daughters in Ukraine. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Hello everyone, I would like to express gratitude to all of you who gathered today and sympathize with the horrific and human attacks on my home in Ukraine. On the 24th of February, I woke up at 5 a.m. from a terrible explosion. It transpired to have been caused by Russian cruise missiles aimed at Rostovan Airport, located just 3 kilometers away from my residential area. As a part of the Cape Offensive, Russian artillery bombarded heavily my neighborhood. My house was damaged, and we were forced to flee with my sister and two small kids. We are safe now. Although my family, which is 44 million Ukrainians, are left in a precarious position fighting for scourge and resolve for our freedom and our future. We are with this 
Thanks indeed to all of you for being here in support tonight. It's uh, very much appreciated. Uh, do give uh, what you're able through cash or contactless. And uh, please stay for a drink, courtesy of Luxoft. The Lord bless you and the people of Ukraine. The Lord make his face to shine upon you all and be gracious to you all. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you all and give you all peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love today and forever. Amen. <laughs>